Hello, and welcome to my YouTube channel. I am Adams Aziz. In this video, I'll be showing you how to create a Pizza Says flyer design in Pixel App. This is going to be a professional social media flyer design. Yeah, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, kindly do so now. Make sure you hit the notification bell so that you'll be getting notifications directly in your device whenever and whenever I post awesome tutorials like this. Subscribing to my channel can look less to you, but I would really appreciate it. Make sure you subscribe to my channel before you go and hit the notification bell. If you find this tutorial helpful, kindly leave a comment before you go. So let's get started. I'll be using the default pixel app size, which is 1280 on the widget and same thing on the height. So I'll be changing my background color. I'll be using gradient. So this is how I got my gradient. I'll be showing the color code. So this particular one, I'm going to show you the color code. This is the color code here. And then this particular one here is the color, sorry. Here is the color code. Perfect. So the gradient style I used was the fourth one. Look at the, look at the first one, the second, the third, and the fourth. Perfect. So let's move on. Um, I will be typing something now, which is ought and sorry not it this auto correction eh? ought and spicy then i'm going to give it all caps then go to my fonts and choose the particular font extreme this font extreme then change the color to this chocolate or brown anyhow then try to increase the size i think um this particular 85 should be okay so let's check the rotation um oh, 11 is okay for me so i'm going to check the padding yeah all right so i'm going to copy it and type spicy spicy sorry pizza rather then make it all caps then go to stroke give it stroke change the color to that same color of the text and reduce the stroke to about one then increase the size let the size be about uh let's check i think this 75 should be okay or it should be more let's add more let's make it about 80 or 85 all right um i think this is just perfect so the next thing i would like to do is to get um some effect for the background reduce the opacity of this shape yes and increase the um the stroke with it to about 35 then increase the size increase the size you can let's make it uh 35 should be okay so increase the size enable your grid and then make sure it is centralized increase it more increase it more let's reduce it to about 30 All right. Oh, sorry. Let me change the color to this. This this two color. All right. So I'm going to copy it, then come back here and reduce the size. Let's see. Let's reduce it more. All right, that is okay. Let me check the background color. I'll be using this instead. I think I actually made a mistake there. All right, so this is it. Yeah, that's how it should be. Then copy this again and go back to this and then reduce it again and centralize it as well. Now. 
little bit yeah i think that is perfect let me increase it a bit so i'll be bringing these two up and lock them all right so the next thing i would like to do is to um get a shape i want to add an effect here there is this guy i think we are almost there all right this is what i was looking for then change the color oh i'm adding stroke i want to change the color to this and add it somewhere here let me first get rid of the other one or oh, okay let me use mask to separate them okay then copy it i'll be needing both of them then change the mask to out so that i'll be able to use this one here all right let me lock it and this one add it somewhere here So we're moving on let me lock it and this one should be somewhere here perfect so i'll be adding um a text there let's say 50 percent then change the font uh, the font to montserrat board perfect then change the color to this particular color Then I'm going to copy this and type save up to sorry recover to save all right so let's write fifty percent again. We're choosing Montserrat board. The size will be 45. And the color will be this. And then let's add it here as up. So whenever you are designing and such thing happen, the best thing to do is to recover auto save. You don't need to restart from scratch. I have made that mistake before when i was starting out so i usually go back and start from scratch again save up to so i'll be using <coughs> sorry montserrat medium sorry semi board and change the color to black then reduce the size So I'm going to copy it and write, oh sorry, oh let's just complete it like that, lorem ipsum is a simply dummy text. I think I should have it here as well. So I want it to be twice then, bring it down here and 
let me centralize it and uh, so I give it a center alignment there so let me add the pizza Alright, um, let me lock it. Let this come down a bit. Or increase the size a bit. Okay, let me lock you as well. Alright, moving on. We're almost there. So I just type order now. Let me use this one. Copy. Order now. Cancel. Change the color to white. And work on the background. We are going to make a gradient out of it. So this particular one, let's choose. So let's go back to it um the and give it a rotation. Then reduce the size. All right, um so the next thing to do is I'm going to get another shape here. Let's see this. And reduce the opacity. Then add it to the back. So another one is I want to add the contact details. So there's a shape here, there is um a resources here that I want to use for that and this is it. Perfect. So I'm going to change the color to this particular color no i'm not going to centralize it So I'm going to lock it, then use this and type the number. So you see 090 and bring it down here. Copy it and type pizza home so bring this one down here as well
perfect um uh you can actually add your logo here look at my cursor and add some other effects here as well so let's see if i want to if i can add something there let's see this if it's going to work Alright, we are the losing. Thank you for watching. God bless you.